And I remember the first time I saw two women kiss, I thought, wow, isn't that exciting? Wow. What was it like to be a young person in the 70s? For most gay people, uh, we lived in a shadow world. Australian TV shows were family orientated, the Brady Bunch. I think the movies were showing Greece. You've got to understand that um, gay male sexual behaviour in just about every state in 1978 um, was illegal. What gay represented to them was the antithesis of the Australian society that they wanted. I went off to do teaching because I really wanted to be a teacher when I was a kid. And I showed a real talent for working with very disadvantaged children and uh, no one took me aside and said don't do teaching, they won't let you teach. Having a, um, a policeman pull over in his car and, and just yell at me, look at you, you fucking idiot, you know, go home, get a boyfriend. The night of 78 was, in my mind, it was over like that. And then we were marching along the street and then we decided to go to the cross. So yeah, people were a bit dressed up. Mostly we were just walking along the street. I don't think there seemed to be a Mardi Gras type atmosphere or nothing like there is today. And then suddenly all these police came out of nowhere and it was like we were ambushed and uh, it was just chaos. It started out as fun and then it was just really, really strange because New South Wales police were just, they appeared to be mountainous guys and they were just, just brutally throwing people down. It was like we were ambushed and everyone was being pulled and everyone was being thrown and it was just like suddenly you're in the middle of a war zone. Watching a woman get dragged along the ground by hair. They were not just saying, um, you know, you're under arrest, will come with us. They were literally pounding into people. Again, that part of the night seemed to be so quick, but it was very full on. It was incredibly noisy. There were a thousand people screaming. But I remember watching that earring get pulled out and then instinctively taking my earrings out, thinking, oh, geez. <laughs> like there is in any movement, when these awful things happen, it makes you tie it together and it actually solidified the movement from that point and that's why we're doing this interview today. Yeah, you can never predict what's going to happen when you do something. I don't think, I, I don't know too many people who stepped back after that. I herald those days as forming my identity even now and giving me the strength to do the things that I did back then and now and now. It's now certainly more colourful. Well, I participate as a 78er. I go in Mardi Gras every year. I'm happy actually that the police are there taking part. I mean, it seems to me that while the police back in 1984 were the enemy, um, they're not today. Oh, well, the police are beside us, you know, singing a song or marching down the street. Um, they're allies now. You know, you march along and everyone cheers because you're a 78 or anything. People are so warm and so friendly in the crowd. There's no narkiness, no anything. Like, we're the 78ers and they, they absolutely go off. There's a place where young people who are isolated can go from all over, wherever, because they know gay people will be there out and proud. Whatever criticisms people have of Mardi Gras, it's this or that, there's a place and that in itself is such a powerful thing because none of us had it back then. The allies need to stand up and not just want to come to our parties, but stand up and be counted when the going gets tough because a movement can't exist without allies who are prepared to be as brave as we are. We've only ever achieved um, the gains that we've, we've made because we fought, stood up and demanded them. You can't sit back passively. You've got to actually be in the forefront, um, like the 78ers, and sort of resist. What you have to do, you have to do. It's not about being brave. I'm not a brave person, but I'm certainly going to stand up for something if I have to or get in the way of authority if I need to. Do not care what anybody 
says they think of you. Who the fuck are they? You do you and be proud because every one of us is an individual. We're important and we're perfect versions of us. What anyone else thinks in the end is irrelevant. If you, if you are living your best version of you, just keep going, power on.